So this man Aang had to resort to the last resort and go into the Avatar state. So while everybody's just looking at this bald ass kid glowing and floating in the air, Azula fries this nigga. Ah, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to the asylum. Now, I know this is a change of scenery, and I know damn well some of y'all niggas is probably like, um, CJ, what the f is going on? And it's simple, really. Unlike the round table where we deal with the most menacing foes, over here in the asylum, we deal with some cool, 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 cool ass niggas. Niggas that got some screws loose in their head. For an example, we got this weird nigga that be with hands, a plethora of psycho bitches, literal clowns in basically the entirety of Gotham City, and a motherless psycho princess that is off a perk, who we will be focusing on today. Patient 001, Azula. Now let me quickly explain how this is going to work. Unlike roundtable trials where we have exhibits, in the asylum, we will be using our handy dandy sanity meter, and it's very simple to understand. The crazier that nigga gets, the higher the level. It's basically just like a GTA wanted level. And with that out the way, commence rehabilitation. So as we know, this man Ozai sent his war machine of a daughter to first go after Zuko and Iroh. This man Ozai basically said, Azula, your uncle is a bitch, and so is your Scarface bitch ass bitch of a brother. Find they sorry asses. So she began her first goose chase of many out here going to find Zuko and Iroh. And just look at this, bruh. This is how you could tell the early signs that she was crazy. She got these poor souls carrying her ass. Now, yes, Shawty's royalty and shit, but bitch, you can walk. You out here breaking these poor niggas' backs. I know they hate their job. And then she gets out and immediately starts threatening her own guard. Had these grown ass men shaking. She was like, okay, first of all, thank you everybody for coming on this forceful manhunt with me of my uncle and my brother. But, um, if you fell me, I will burn your corpse and throw you overboard so your family doesn't get your fucking body for your fucking funeral. God damn. And she started threatening the captain of the ship. Bro said, I'm sorry, princess, but I don't think the tides is gonna let us get in by nightfall. But then she told this nigga, well, um, that's your problem, because if you don't get this shipment by nightfall, I'm throwing your ass overboard, and you could complain about the tides when you're fucking drowning. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So later on, Azula ends up finding Zuko and Iroh, and then she started to use her S-tier manipulation. She started telling this man Zuko, okay, so listen, Zuzu, daddy wants you home, like, now. But Zuko and Iroh was like, oh, hell Not no, Zuzu. why the hell should we trust your ass? Especially Zuko, because he like, why the fuck will my dad want me home after he banished me, burnt off half my face, and sent me in exile with this terrible ass ponytail on the back of my fucking head? Like, seriously, was this a part of the banishment? Like, what is this, bro? Like a horse tail, nigga? And to add more fuel to the fire, Azula's ass was smiling while watching her brother get his face burnt off. Like, you sick ass nah, nigga. Nah, she might have been cooking for cool from birth, birth bro. Hell no. But she might have been cooked from birth, like, actually, bro. Like, Azula, with her A tier manipulation abilities, ended up convincing them to come back with her. So they end up walking up to the ship. And of course, Azula's little rat ass is like, oh my gosh, I am so happy y'all both came. Now we can be a big happy family again. But this man Iroh was on his P's and Q's. He was like, oh no, nah, it's holding got us in the trap. So then the idiot captain ends up saying, everybody all hands on deck. We're taking the prisoners home. Is this nigga serious? Well, yeah, uh, Iroh started throwing hands out here boxing the hell out of these boys. And obviously Zuko pissed off, so he ends up confronting Azula. And just look at this, bro. She is outclassing the hell out of him, notching every single hit. This is embarrassing, Zuko. I guess that burnt left eye of yours must really be a handicap. Because my boy, you can't get nothing. Your bitch gotta be fucked up. But then she grabs him, makes bro stumble and fall on his ass. And then she starts charging up lightning, bro. She is going for the kill shot. But that man Iroh had to grab her and redirect that shit and had to kick his ungrateful niece overboard. So after she failed trying to capture Iroh and Zuko, she ended up realizing she was like, hmm, I guess it's time to get the girls back together. So Azula sets out to go get her friends. And the, the first girl she goes and gets is Ty Lee. And she did her so dirty. She gaslit the shit out of Ty Lee, her own best friend. So obviously Ty Lee was happy to see Azula. She was like, oh my gosh, girl, I haven't 
ain't seen you in so long. But Azula's old trifling ass was like, yes, yes, queen, but um, what the fuck are you doing at this circus? Um, I'm exploring myself. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, yes. Okay, uh, listen, boo boo. I have a mission and uh, I need you like now. But girl, I'm so happy here. I'm like really in tune with my zodiac sign right now. All right. Really, nigga? Okay, yeah, fuck all this. I'll leave you to it. But then before Azula leaves, she ends up saying, Oh, girl, but before I leave, I'm gonna be watching your show tonight. So break a leg. And look at her change in her face, bro. She's like, oh, hell no. But later that night, they end up having the show and, uh, yeah, this is just unexplainable. Later that night. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Tyler. Oh my gosh, yes, queen, you are doing great. Um, excuse me. Um, yes, your highness. Um, could you possibly light the net on fire? Huh? Well, Ma'am, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that your best friend up there? Um, motherfucker, did it look like I stuttered? Light the net on fire. Oh, nah, this is yes, crazy. Well. Oh my God, is this hoe trying to kill me? And no, no, this she yes. got the audacity to ask this man. How many animals you got? Because release all them niggas. Entertain me, bitch. <laughs> So yeah, uh, after the show, she is backstage with her. She's just complimenting her and everything. She's like, oh my gosh, that was such an exquisite show. I can't wait to see you do this all over again tomorrow. But Tylee was like, um, hell no. I'm never doing that shit again. I almost fucking died. <laughs> Bitch, I'm joining you on your mission. Uh, after she got Tylee, she went to go get May's old gloomy ass. And she didn't even hesitate to join. She basically said, oh my gosh, girl, about damn time. Get me the fuck out of this dirty ass city. And just like that, the Fire Nation city girls were in business. But no, nah, they pull up on Aang, Katara, and Sokka to do a hostage trade with Boomy and May's little ugly ass baby brother. Like, what the hell is that cut, little nigga? Little bro got a goatee on his head. And they named the little baby Tom Tom. What type of stupid ass name is that? But then here come Azula's little snarky ass. She started saying, Now, May, why are we trading a king for a little two year old with a fucked up haircut? And she had May thinking she was like, You know what? You're right. So she ended up calling off the deal. So Aang started running to get Boomy. And while he was jumping, he ended up exposing his bald ass head. So she started hawking this man down. Shawty is on a mission. So she ends up kicking Boomy's big ass casket. And this man Aang had to start surfing. And wait a minute, pause. Azula out here really hitting the Itachi. She on that, I'm about to murder my whole clan timing. So she starts chasing Aang on oh, the side nah. of the hedgehog looking stage. She start hitting this man with the aerials. He, 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 he. She is not playing with Aang's bald ass. And then she threw a whole fire wheel at him. But this man, Boomy, ended up bailing Aang out. But this was just the beginning of the wild goose chase. She was on this nigga Aang dick 24 7 trying to capture his ass. Damn near rivaling Zuko head ass. Like, look at this, bruh. Over the course of multiple episodes, she is chasing this man down in this big ass train. And then look at what she is riding, bruh. Is that a overgrown salamander? And they was on dick for days. They follow these niggas everywhere. Look at the bags under their eyes, bruh. That's how you know that lack of sleep is kicking in. They looking like me after I finish editing a video. Dead and cooked. But nah, later on, she ended up catching up to this man, Aang, in this abandoned old western town, looking like they about to have a duel at high noon. And look at all this shit she talking. Aang asks, who are you? And she puts her hand over her eye, and she's like, can't you see the family resemblance? I just don't have a fat ass scar on my face, cause I'm not a pussy. And speak of the devil, this man Zuko comes out of nowhere. Bro said, heard you talking shit, bitch. So they about to have a whole triple threat match. So Azula strikes first and sends Zuko flying. And look at Aang's face, he's like, oh nah, my arch rival, my Vegeta, my Sasuke just got washed in one second by his sister. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> but Azula was not letting this man get away. Already had this man Aang going timber. And the triple threat match was going crazy. Look at his movement. She has control of this entire fight. But look at this big brain play by Aang. Bro let her in this building with no floor and she was balancing for her life. And then Zuko's dumb ass just ran in there and fell. But nah, this man Zuko was just getting tossed, bro. <laughs> And now she had this man Aang doing Sonic and Mario wall jumps. But now she had this man Aang cooked. He looked all over for Buddy. But then Katara came in and saved Aang's legacy. And after this, the whole damn cast was about to jump her. And look at her. She like, oh, wow, I am baffled. So what, y'all are just going to jump a poor innocent little girl? Pathetic. 
But look at her. She acting like she about to surrender. But she said, psych! And lands a critical hit on Iroh, and she just dips. Shawty made her off a pack and her brother traumatized. But nah, you're probably thinking, how more insane can this person get? Well, uh, <laughs> try drilling a hole into the Great Wall of China. Or bossing saber. Come on, bro. It's literally the Great Wall of China. Shawty really got an oversized screwdriver and tried to drill a hole in this big ass wall. She is really out here vandalizing one of the wonders of the world. And all for what? For daddy's approval. So this man Aang had to go on a side quest to save this damn city from Missoula's tyrannical drill. So Zula comes up here and just starts whooping Aang's ass again. And look at her hit the splits right here. He she said, my mobility is elite and jumps up and hits this man with a spinning fireball attack. <laughs> so she picks up Aang and she's about to kill his bald ass. But that man's plot armor kicked in and that man turned his armor to the thing. So Azula starts running at this man Aang, but all this shit just fuse everywhere. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, but it actually sounded kind of crazy. Hold on. So all this chunky liquid just goes everywhere and it gave Aang the time to do an orbital drop. So he DK slams the drill and Azula goes flying. And Azula's evil scheme for the week was over until she did some more crazy shit and decided to take over the entire Earth Kingdom. You what? So how Azula took over the entire all Earth right. Kingdom should be studied. First of all, look at this S tier espionage. Shawty's whole team took the whole Kiyoshi Warriors fit after, guess what? Flashback, she snuck them hoes. Look at Tylee giving this girl hands. Gave this girl a whole five piece combo and blew her back out. Then Azula <laughs> finesse Suki, bodied her ass, and put her ass into a prison. Well, now we go back to the present day and poor Katara, bro. She into thought this was the real Kiyoshi Warriors. But I ain't gonna lie, what happened to her right here was kind of deserved, though. Because she was really being the Karen, I ain't gonna lie. Out here trying to report Iroh and Zuko, just trying to serve tea peacefully, damn it. Let them serve their tea, nigga! I'm sorry. But anyways, Katara got gotcha. So after this, Azula ends up taking over the entire Dai Li because of Long Fang's old treacherous, traitorous ass out here trying to stage a coup. You bum. But anyways, bro, she ended up taking over the entire Earth Kingdom Black Ops and had these niggas snatching up every single Earth Kingdom gym. The Dai Li was sneaking the hell out of these boys. She ends up capturing Zuko after she sent some fake ass note saying the Earth King wanted to try their tea. And then she takes the Earth King himself bruh. hostage. Like, bruh, it can't get cleaner than that. This is goddamn elite espionage. But nah, this man Long Fang thought he was him. After they finished the coup, this man said, all right, boys, arrest her. But they was like, nah, nigga, you pussy. We following Big Azula in this hoe. And then she looked at this man like, oh my God, you really thought that you was him? Yeah, shut the fuck up, get on your knees and start glazing me, bitch. I apologize for my outburst. You are not him. And just like that, Bossing Say was hers. But nah, she was not done yet. But she was about to commit probably her most notorious act. So leading up to this, as we know, Azula manipulated the hell out of Zuko's dumbass to get him to join her after having a whole sentimental conversation with Katara and his uncle saying, don't do it, nigga. But nah, while Azula's getting tag teamed by Aang and Katara, this man Zuko came into the fight and he thought about it for a second. But he was like, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna join my crazy ass sister. So he starts blasting at Aang. And I ain't gonna lie, this fight was brutal. The Azula and Zuko duo was cooking. First off, Aang got fucked up. Azula bull rushed this man and sent Aang flying to God knows where, and Katara just got jumped. Like they whooped her ass like it was no tomorrow. So now it looked bad. The Dai Li was here to add on to the jumping. The Azula and Zuko duo was cooking like Shaq and Kobe. So this man Aang had to resort to the last resort and go into the Avatar state. So while everybody's just looking at this bald ass kid glowing and floating in the air, Azula fries this nigga. Shawty said, fuck your transformation ass sequence. This ain't no anime nigga. It may be inspired by it, but I don't play by those rules, bitch. And she put this man Aang in a pack. Hey, yo. And this hey, nigga yeah. in a coma. When the nigga woke up, he had hair. Bro, no. Nah. They get Aang some breast assist. What the fudge? Treat me like what Jesus. So after Azula packed up Aang and took over the entirety of Ba Sing Se, she ends up going to tell Ozai that Zuko killed the Avatar, but he know damn well Aang ain't dead because the series ain't in yet. That's how you know the main character ain't dead. Well, until Korra. 
But anyways, Zuko busts up in her room trying to interrogate her and shit, asking why'd you do it? And she like, oh my God. Okay, first of all, Zuko, you're ruining my fucking beauty sleep. And second, you should be happy because daddy fucking hated you. You should be lucky he's not burning off the other half of your face. Really, nigga? Now go ahead and pack your bags because you're going on a girl's trip to Miami. Oh, Hell no, man. The next day. I'm out of town. Now, why the hell did she have to do that? Like, honest question. You know how hard it is to make a sandcastle? Well, nah, but during this entire beach episode, you end up figuring out that Azula's social skills are terrible. And I blame this on her parents. This whole trip, she was just set up for failure. First of all, you know every single simp on this damn beach is gonna be trying to get with Ty Lee. Second, me and Zuko a whole damn couple. So you know damn well they're gonna be off somewhere just cuddling up and shit. So you already third willing, but to make it worse, your social skills are terrible because all you know is war. Perfect example, look at this volleyball game right here. She is out here analyzing a pickup beach volleyball game she's saying okay guys i watch haikyuu so i know how to play volleyball you see that girl dribbling the ball over there i bet you she had a childhood injury target her the whole game and this whole game was over they was out here looking like the 2016 2017 warriors i ain't gonna lie i'm getting cooked look at his last spike boom so after she destroyed the entire volleyball court, she yapping at them like she in an old school MW2 lobby. Get the fuck off of my court, you lame ass trash ass niggas. You should feel fucking humiliated because how trash y'all are. Let us the game, bitch ass nigga. Okay, ladies, that was fun. But no, it got worse than this. They ended up going to this party and Azula's Riz is absolutely terrible. Bro, just listen to this shit, bro. That's a sharp outfit, Chan. Careful. You could puncture the hull of an Empire class Fire Nation battleship. Thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was man? that? I'm sorry, man. Sure. But no, this whole party was terrible. Ty Lee ended up getting trapped in the corner by like five niggas. And you know damn well what they trying to do. They trying to run the Polar Express on her ass. Hey, yo. She had to make her escape immediately. And Azula was down bad this whole party. She got her asking Ty Lee, why won't guys talk to me? Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't help that your wrist is terrible, Azula, but um, you should try not looking like a total bitch all the time. But now Azula ends up finally talking to this one dude. And bro, oh my God, this is just so bad, bro. So she trying to raise this nigga up. She like, oh my she God, had it for a second. Arms are like so strong. She had it for a second. This nigga talking like muscle man. Oh yeah, really? My mom gave me these muscles. But no, they end up kissing each other. But then this is where everything just goes south. She was like, oh my gosh, this is so hot. You know what would make this even more hotter? You been in the fuck over getting on all fours while I'm dominating your ass. And together we will rule this earth and dominate the world and burn it all to the ground. <laughs> Uh, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta take a doodle. I gotta take a doodle. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that happened. But no, look at this toxic shit. They end up going back to that dude's house and they just trashed the whole place. And look at her behind him. She is enjoying his sweet tears. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get to the turning point. Oh, we all know that she warned Ozai about the invasion and everything. And then she played tag with Aang and them, blah, blah, blah. No, Big like, bro, for like the, towards the end of the series, bro, she actually went like off the deep end and just went completely bonkers, bro. Like she would like, like as the series progressed and progressed, she got slowly and slowly more cuckoo, bro. And at the end of the series, bro, she's just like, fuck it. I, I, I gotta lose the drink to Boiling Rock. Cause this is where her sanity shits the bed. So while she's fighting Zuko, Sokka and them trying to escape the prison, May ends up betraying her, allowing Zuko to leave. So she ends up confronting her. She like, um, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, saving my mans, a feeling that you will never know. Damn. Oh, wow, looks like Miss Gloomy got a mouth on her. Looks like and I should close it. But Thank you to my mans. She blocking her and, my and man. puts her on her ass. She is shook. But she should have saw this coming Pause. though. Because their entire friendship was just based off of fear. I mean, if you go back into the past, Azula was a little asshole. I mean, look at this. Azula's doing this cartwheel and she falls on her ass. And she sees Ty Lee perfectly do it. You know what Azula does? Oh, ass, bitch. Like, bruh. And look what she does to May and Zuko. She puts this apple on her head, lights the apple on bruh. fire, and they end up busting their ass. And she's just laughing at it. No wonder your mama thought you was a monster. And now nah, we go back to the a present. Monster, she like, though. the hell with y'all dirty hoes. Y'all can ride in prison for the rest of your fucking life. 
and it just got worse from here. Astronomically worse to be precise. We end up figuring out later on that Azula was the one who came up with the plan to burn down the entire Earth Kingdom when Sozin's Comet comes. And when it's time for the plan to be enacted, Ozai's like, mm, you know what? Azula, you're not coming with me. So Azula was obviously hurt. She started questioning him. Um, excuse me? It was my plan, dad. What the fuck? Stop treating me like fucking Zuka, you deadbeat. Bitch, what did you just say to me? Oh, I'm sorry. But nah, this man Ozai ends up making her Fire Lord. And now since Azula is high in power now, she decided to become uh, high on life. Because from this point forward, she is cracked out. She is on the brink of breaking her sanity. She doesn't trust absolutely anybody anymore. After all her friends betrayed her, her dad hoeing her on her plan, and basically being neglected by her mama. She was off a perk. Look at this, bro. She got these servants touching her up, scrubbing her feet, getting her nails done and everything ready for her coronation. She got this poor girl serving her cherries. But this poor girl was just the first victim of the banished spree. Look at this. She eating the cherries. She like... Is I'm that a, a bitch. pit? What the fuck is this? A cherry pit princess? Uh-huh. And what the fuck would have happened if I swallowed that shit? Oh, you could have choked. Dun, 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 dun. You're correct, Captain Obvious. So you know what happens next, right? Oh, am I fired? No. You're banished. Get the hell out of my palace and get the fuck out of my country. Hell no. The hell are y'all hoes looking at? These feet ain't gonna scrub themselves. But nah, it got worse than this. She banished all her dilute agents because they was five minutes late to her meeting. She banished every single servant and one of the old ass ladies that was basically one of her mentors. And then this is where she was really cracked out. She out here trying to put her hair up and she started fighting with her hair. She was like, all right, here. You want to fight me, huh? You want to square up? She cut her hair off. Look at her, bro. Oh, she looks like she has taken every single drug on the market. She got split ends, bags on the eyes. Shawty looks like she has not bathed in days. And then she started having a schizophrenic episode talking to her mama in the mirror. She was like, huh, what the fuck are you doing here, bitch? Azula. Didn't, Didn't I, I teach, teach you to, you to say, say no, no to drugs? And she's just talking to her mama, well, talking to herself, and she just throws the brush and breaks the mirror. Oh, Lord, have mercy, bro. This is why I started this series. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the peak of Azula's madness. As Azula's about to be crowned Fire Lord, Zuko pulls up to get it back in blood. After being manipulated, deceived, and mentally tortured by his sister his entire life. So Azula says, I challenge you to Agni Kai. AKA. Oh my God. Oh, what is that? So these two get ready to do it. Azula is looking Mortal absolutely Kombat. cracked out right now. So they start bending and put on one of the greatest light shows of all time. This entire fight was beautiful brought a tear to my eye back in 08. But Azula was looking hella down bad this entire fight because since her mental state is literally scrambled eggs right now, she was actually getting cooked because she couldn't fight right. So Zuko ended up knocking her down and then he started provoking her. He was like, hey, where the lightning at, ho? But this was the biggest mistake he made. She said, oh, you wanna see lightning, nigga? So she started charging that hoe up and said, hmm. Let me shoot this at Katara. So he shoots it at her, and Zuko ends up taking the shot. And that man is done, bro. GG's. Then Katara try to come over, but Azula shoots another bolt at her. And the insanity meter is already at the peak right now, but now this shit is overflowing. Her brain is scrambled. She out here moving like a cod zombie. Look at her, bro. She's just fucking around and just shooting lightning now. Katara was really out here surviving a horror movie, but she was like, nah, bro, I gotta stop her now. Are we all dying? So she leads her crazy ass over to the gutter and freezes her right before she blows off her head and chained her ass up and put down this crazy raised tyrant and look at her bro this is just a breakdown she just had to let it all out bro i ain't gonna lie i kind of felt bad for her but at the nah, same time bro, i'm like crazy her ass the fuck up. for real though she was so insane ladies and gentlemen as we see the meter for patient 001 has filled to the brim it is maxed out and this was not the end of her shenanigans now i haven't read any of these avatar comics but i heard that zuko actually put her ass in a asylum look at her she in a straight jacket and everything <laughs> and apparently she was out here kidnapping kids Hell nah, patient 001, get comfortable. You'll be here for a minute. Cause as long as I'm here, you'll be locked in to the asylum. Yo, that was, that was, that was brilliant, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, felt, I like that one a little bit more cause I've, I've actually watched the full series of Avatar The Last Airbender, bro. And Peek Azula actually terrified me as a kid. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I was actually scared of that broad. Um, if you like the video, like the reaction, hit the thumbs up, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. And never forget, don't forget, bro, daddy loves you.